The first concept we're going to cover here is file-based routing. So Next.js, unlike vanilla React, is a built-in routing system. It's where you effectively have your app folder. So if we look at the code here for this running project, we have our app directory here. And then to create a route, you create a folder within the app folder, but that is only going to become a public route when you actually add a page file within that folder. So to demonstrate this, we have our app folder, we have this test route folder within it, and then I have a page.jsx file within test route. So if I go to forward slash test hyphen route, I'm going to see this page.js file rendered to my screen. Forward slash test route here, you're going to see test route. So that creates a new route and the route matches the name of the folder. Now for fonts and actions, these are going to be public routes because I don't have a page file within these folders. So if I try to go to actions here, you're going to see 404 not found because I don't have a page file making those public routes. Now, if you want to create nested routes, you can totally do that within test route. I just create another folder route two, And then if I created a page.js file within this route two folder, that would create a path of forward slash test route forward slash route two. And then you can also do, of course, dynamic routes and Next.js supports all of that stuff as well. And the second concept here is server and client component. So Next.js allows you to render things both on the server and the client to help improve performance because the less kind of rendering you have the browser do, the more performant in a lot of cases your application is going to be. Now to create a server and client component in Next.js, well, it's pretty straightforward because everything by default in Next.js is going to be a server component unless you add the use client directive to the top of the page. So for this homepage here, it is actually a client component because we add this use client directive at the top of the page. But in our test route page, we don't have the use client. So all of this is going to be rendered server side. Whereas in page.jsx here, this is going to be a client component because we added use client. Now, when are you going to use one over the other? Well, default to using server components. But if you need to use browser features like a local storage or event handlers, so like the on clicks that we're handling within this component here, or you need to use React hooks, so like use state, user reducer, use effect, that's when you're going to need to use a client component. However, try to make as much as you can server side, but then just make kind of isolated client components and then fit those into your server components whenever possible. And the third concept here is going to be server actions. So server actions basically allow you to use some server sided logic without needing to create an API route. And then this basically just kind of simplifies your code and reduces complexity. So instead of, so we have this test action button here, which we can see right here, instead of creating like an API route to save some data, once I click this button, I can just have a server action within my actions folder. It doesn't need to be within an actions folder, but it does need to have this use server directive. And there's other ways to create these, but this is a very straightforward approach. I think so anyways, to our export an async function needs to be an async function. It accepts this data. And then this could do some stuff with the database, but right now it just console logs the data. And then you can see when I click this button, I call this test action server component, which is then going to just run this server side. So this prevents me from needing to create an all new API route and I can just call this server action. So if I click this button here and then I check my console on the server side, we see a console log some data. So you can create these server functions that really allow you to just do some server side logic, whether it's working with a database or whatever it might be without needing to create actual like API routes, which is a really cool feature. So I might've gone over three bit. It's a little bit here, but hopefully this was a quick way to familiarize yourself with a few really core concepts of modern Next.js.